What's good, producers? It's Curtis King of CurtisKingBeast.com here with another Producer Motivation 911. Producers, today I want to talk to you about five benefits of joining beat battles. Beat battles are not for the faint of heart, but beat battles can be so beneficial to your career. They were beneficial to mine. One of the biggest beat battles I was ever in was in the Red Bull Big Tune 2010 beat battle. And that beat battle literally gave me a platform to showcase my beats in front of potential customers and all these different benefits. So, and even aside from the Red Bull Big Tune, I had been in numerous battles locally because I just chose to take a chance. The way that I even joined the community that I'm in right now in terms of hip hop is because I wasn't afraid to join. I wasn't afraid to pay the 10 bucks to join inside the beat battle. Now there's some good beat battles and there's some beat battles that you wanna watch out for. Any of those beat battles, same that you gotta pay tickets to be a part of it, don't even waste your time. You already know the ones that I'm talking about, do not even do it. Anything that requires you paying a crazy amount of money just to showcase your beats, no. That's not what I'm saying. But beat battles, the ones that are like 10 bucks join up and there's a cash prize, join them. Jump in the mix. Let me give you the five reasons why it was very beneficial to me and why I think it could be very beneficial to you as a producer. Reason number one, you have an opportunity to display your beats in front of potential customers and into an audience. Now, most of us as producers, we know that we have a very weird lifestyle sometimes. Most of our time is spent in here. We're in here making beats and we really don't get out there into the community like that. And there's really not a reason for us to be at shows unless we're DJing for the artists we produce for. But let me tell you, especially when you're new in the city or when you're trying to barely get your name out, you better join as many beat battles as you can because think of this, you're in the audience of people who support a producer, okay? They may support multiple producers at that particular event, but you gotta think of it from their perspective. They're willing to watch two to three or four hours of instrumentals and beats being played. When I look at that, I see, man, there's so many potential fans of what I'm doing. If I show and prove tonight, I could potentially have more fans based upon me just displaying my beats and really going in. So you have an opportunity to make fans, but even more than fans, you have an opportunity to make potential customers because artists go to beat battles. Why do artists go to beat battles? Because they're plotting, they're plotting on the next beats for their project. And what better place to go than a buffet of blappers? So reason number one, pure opportunity to showcase your work. Reason number two, Something I found with jumping in the beat battle circuit, you start to see some of the same familiar faces. And some producers are hella cool, some producers are not so cool. But the producers who are cool, you wanna focus in on building relationships with them. Why you wanna build relationships with another producer? You want the opportunity to pick his brain or in turn, build up some kind of friendship. You never know what these things can turn into. You may end up having a dude that could be the Chad Hugo to your Pharrell Williams and you guys become the next NERD. You never know. So the community that Beat Battles presents you with because you're around like-minded producers and people who basically wanna go in for the kill, it's really dope because you end up finding people who you can learn things from, you can exchange sounds with. I've seen producers who go to the final round, one producer wins and he offers to pay for some tacos at a local taco stand next to the beat battle place and they end up becoming the best of friends. Because at the end of the day, even though it's competition, we're all fans of the craft, we're all fans of music. So being in that environment can actually get your name out faster than you think. It can actually build up your network. All these things are very beneficial for you. Reason number three, instead of being on Twitter all day and SoundCloud and Facebook and saying, what you think of this beef fam? What you think of this beef fam? Can you go check out my beef fam? Why don't you get in front of people? Why don't you get in front of an audience that has no bias and has no reason to lie to you? Why not get in front of them and see what their reaction is to your beats? There's been some beats that when I'm at the house, I make a beat and I'm like, damn, this is amazing. And then I get in front of an audience and it's just crickets. You need to have those experiences. You need to know the things that actually move people. You need to know the things that you're doing that are actually working so that you can develop upon those and stop wasting your time trying to develop your weaknesses that don't help your strengths. So getting in front of an audience will give you a honest, real life experience and an honest opinion about what your music sounds like and sometimes you know you don't want to base it fully upon the audience and how they react to it but it's good to know if you're providing a sound that is accessible to people because it may tell you whether or not you're ready 
to be selling beats or offering beats to artists because these artists are gonna have to rap in front of the same people. Also too, sometimes you get judges that give you a really great opinion about your music and you get to hear from some reputables. Sometimes some people just get paid to be there to get some drink tickets and they're just there to glide through. They're not really there to give you constructive criticism, but being in front of that audience can give you some of the most memorable feelings. Because what happens when you got a beat that just absolutely takes off? There's a beat that I had called Love Is Gone. And the reaction of the crowd surprised me so much that I looked like, oh, y'all like that? It surprised me. I knew the beat was pretty good, but to see that reaction let me know, okay, I should probably make more beats like that. Reason number four, cash prizes. You're looking for ways to make money or looking for ways to invest money into your website or your sound click? Join some beat battles. To pay 10 bucks to win 300 or 400 bucks, I think that's a worthwhile investment. So the cash prizes, I mean, you even sometimes get trophies in some of these battles. Who knows what you could win in it? Reason number five, and this is probably my favorite reason, beat battles improve your decision-making skills. Because when you're in a beat battle and you got about five to 10 seconds to determine what beat you wanna play in response to this producer who's getting ready to kill you off if you don't play some fire, you need to have decision-making skills. You need to be able to think on the fly. You need to know what type of beats to play for certain people in certain audiences. Because what happens is you're gonna jump into sessions with artists and artists are gonna ask you to press play on your beats. Well, if you've listen to that artist and you've done your research, you're going to have to know good decision making skills in order to know what to play. Now, when you're dealing with a beat battle, you get two to three seconds. It's almost like being five seconds left in an in NBA game and you're trying to win the game. You have to make decisions based upon that audience is going crazy over that last person that played the beat. You want to be able to develop those decision making skills because they help you all around as an individual. They help you become more decisive about your music and in pursuit of those decision-making skills you're gonna fail you're gonna lose battles i've lost battles i've lost battles multiple times to some people it happens but you learn so much from losing because you look and you see okay i need to be more consistent about my particular sound i need to be more consistent about you know what i choose to play i need to be more consistent about showing people my strength and here's a little bonus information for those that actually get into beat battles and take my advice. First round, play an absolute monster. Play a final round beat in your first round because when you do that, you set the tone very early that you have not come to play games. In the later rounds, you wanna make sure that within each round, you're the guy that goes last because you wanna be the one that leaves the last taste in people's mouth. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe that beat. And also, don't play fire with fire. If you got a producer who's immaculate EDM trap beats. Do not try to EDM trap him out if that's not your strength. If you're a hip hop producer, play that boom bap that you got and play the best that you have. And then from there, let the chips fall where they fall. This has been another producer motivation 911, Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. What's good artists, it's Curtis King and I basically wanted to take this in portion to bring to your attention a new service that I'm providing. I just launched this week one-on-one -on -one artists and producer marketing and consultation. So basically, I'll sit with you one-on-one -on -one and answer all of your questions. Any questions that you have for me as an artist or producer, I can basically sit with you and we can formulate a plan together. I wanna see you reach all of your goals and I wanna make sure that I offer you as much of my 12 year plus experience as I can to help you down your road. If you have any questions, Questions, visit curtisking.com not curtis king beats visit curtisking.com and book a session now nobody understands an artist like an artist and nobody understands a producer like a producer